Say hi to YouTube, everybody. Say hi to YouTube. That did not go as planned. You boys like Mexico! Yeah! today's episode of how are we spending money and why are we working on the group still we're going to be doing a tail light and tail cleanup for the group so I actually have a smoked tail light with sequential blinkers built in and the I don't even remember what brand it is savage it's a savage brand tail cleanup kit that's it's either anodized steel or it's just painted steel, but either way, it's all black. And I haven't looked at it too closely, but what I'm seeing thus far is all we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these Allens, and there's two under here as well. Those come out, and the plate bolts up on this, and then the rest of the plate bolts up there, and we're gonna change the tail light out while we're at it. And the previous owner put these nice little LED lights on here, but my tail lights got them integrated, so we're going to remove those and the resistors as well. And that also has a uh, it has a relay for it as well. And I'm hoping we can figure that out pretty quickly. But regardless, the first thing we got to do is remove the seat. That's extremely hard. That everybody seems to not be able to remove the seat on one of these. So, there we go. Remove the seat. I don't know how difficult that was. And, let's see. These two little wing nut jobs here, those are part of what's holding this on. So, we're going to remove those. And, there's my resistors. They're right in there for those blinkers. And, we're going to look around in here and see where exactly the uh, that relay is supposed to go. Oh. Don't like the look of that. We'll figure this out as we go. Hopefully it won't be too bad. So let's get started on this. Just like we said, it was the four, and that piece just come off. And for the tail light, that's actually pretty easy. It's these two 10 millimeter nuts, they come off. Tail light comes out, unplugs, blah blah blah. So actually probably plugs in up here somewhere. We'll have to figure that out when we go. So the current thing that I'm looking at right now is this. Not entirely sure what's going on. Um, that looks to be a power wire. And then blue goes to one and orange goes to the other, I assume. Since the screen goes to both, maybe that's the ground. And these other two are the hot, but what on earth are those? What were those supposed to be and why are they cut off? Um, tail light. What, uh, I hate seeing electrical tape. Um, what on earth would that be for? Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Q worried voice. Q, do I really have to take a side panel off this bike again? I just did that. <sighs> okay. Let's just look at what we're doing here. Okay. So those are the bars. That's what we took off in a previous video. Um, my Groot parts are growing and overlapping on the FRS parts, which is what that pipe is. was an overpipe swap. That's what the mirrors came in. Um, so this is actually the cleanup kit right here for the tail. And that's the tail light light. Oh, maybe that's what those two wires are for. The tail light light. Wouldn't that be nice? Um, the tail light. Oh, Lord. Well. 
Okay. So we need a plug that looks like that. And I believe that's blinkers. That's definitely a ground. I assume one's tail, one's brake. Those are blinker. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, those got to be blinkers. It's one's green, one's green, yellow stripe. Those have to be blinkers. These are the same. Brake and tail, I'm guessing. Ground. Whatever that's for. Oh my lord, everybody. I'm going to have to do thinking or get a headache. In the interest of updating this as I go, I have again pulled the side off so I can get down in here. And this clip literally slips on. If you push that little release, you can pull this off. And then right in that little hole there, that little fella, little fella, you can disconnect this. And now we can actually remove the tail light itself and get to the little switcheroo that we're trying to do here. What is happening there? Okay. And we're actually going to take this over here and try to match it up with these wires the way it needs to be here. So black and then the two greens. So the black and the two greens. And I want to make sure that we Oh, there we go. I want to orient this appropriately. So it seems black pins in the far right. And then green, yellow stripe. Is that one? Pins in the middle. And then solid green pins in the right. Make sure you give them a little bit of a tuggy tug. Make sure they're all in there. So there's that. I'm guessing this blinker is going to plug in. Almost exactly where the old one did. So let's, uh, let's see about getting him bolted in there. And I'm assuming... We all know what happens when you assume that those two yellows will be plugging into I mean bother. Um so there's one, that's the other. Uh Money says, uh huh. Money says that that relay plugs on here. With that. And the yellows plug in here. I'm going to undo all this tape and see what that looks like. I bet there's two female clips on there. Okay, so let's. Uh, catch everybody up. So the flasher relay is actually right here And the one that came with the kit is either a dud or it's the wrong one because when I turn the turn signal on The front one just goes off But the back one works But the front one just goes off and I put the OEM one back on the front light stays on but doesn't blink the back blinks so Until I get an EL 12 flasher For this because I'm impatient. I want to ride it tomorrow. I have reused the old resistors and rewired it basically as it was when I got it, except I replaced the wires that came with the tail light to the wires that were on those little LED strips that I've thrown in the pile. 
So what's left is the reserve light or the, the uh, license plate light on the bottom. And I need to finish tending wires. I restuck the resistors back here and I've ran my wires back up. There's nothing on that that's needing to show. I've just retended the side of the bike. And if you've watched any of my videos, I don't reassemble the thing until it's done and working the way I want, just in case. So here's our cute little LED light. And that's going to go on back here. And these wires go on to the yellow and the green. That's our hot and our ground. The green is ground, I believe, and we're going to use black as ground because that's what it normally is, or common, whichever you prefer to call it. And until I get the, EL, the EL12 flasher and make sure this is all the way it's supposed to, I'm going to twist and tape wires instead of soldering and crimping. Uh, if it was a more important thing other than an LED license plate light, I would take more care. But again, I'm, I'm probably going to take all this off and redo it so it's proper after I get the EL12 and make sure it works the way I want it to. So the next section of this video, and we're actually watching the three uh, rear drive sports cars that are not Porsches episode. So I'm going to get the, uh, the tail delete kit and I'm going to start putting it back up on here because this actually bolts to that. And then we'll cut back to that. If you just want to skip ahead to where I wire this in and have it done, that's fine. But if you want to do all of this at the same time like I am, stay tuned. All right. So, took those four bolts out like we've already seen. And this literally bolted back up real quick. I mean, the two panels went here and then the last, the last one went on here and that'll hold the license plate. And the little LED light just bolts in the back. Here's our wires. I'm going to twist the wires and tape them up. And I'm going to tuck all this down and throw the rest of the bike together. And we'll, uh, we'll do a little video of what this looks like at the end. Bike is back together. So we've got our tail light and our blinker and our uh, license plate. <laughs> okay well the right one's working and i know what's wrong with the left the freaking ground is coming plugged for the second time take two This 30 minute project, like every project, is turned into an hour and a half ordeal. However, it's done. It's all done. The bike is done with these mods. I want to go to bed. What? Shout out to Ian for driving me. Say hi, Tyler.